Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Tigers. Today is Friday, October 19th, and it's a B-Day. We've got a few meeting announcements, an attendance race update, and more. But first, it looks like it paid off to be on GM 97. How? Well, remember the Senate candidate speeches? Listen to this. Thank you for those who voted in the elections for Student Senate. We've had a great race with the strong candidates. 227 people voted in the election, with, which represents a 45% voter turnout for our student body. The winners are as followed. President Vlada Florchuk, Vice President Peyton Tyson, Communications Director Kiana Heller, and Secretary Jordan Johnson. Congratulations, everyone. Make sure to connect with these leaders about any concerns you have. They are going to be great leaders of the student body. Congrats. Congratulations may also be in order if you have kept in attendance in mind. We are over halfway through October. What that means for the great race great attendance race is that we are inching even closer to see what advising has had the best attendance for the whole month. On up Monday, November 5th, the top advising for the month will not only get the tiger tea and coffee cart, but the extra incentive of donuts in their morning advising as well. If you're hankering for a sweet treat, make sure to buckle down and hustle to every class of every period of every day. Those donuts could be yours. Did you know that getting involved in a club has a stati statistical impact on your attendance? It is also linked to higher GPAs and test scores. Really? So think about joining one of those. There's a green team meeting on Monday, October 22nd, fourth hour in Ms. Canodal's room. Anybody who would like to make our school a little greener is welcome to join. Or try FFA, who is in the middle of their annual cheese and sausage fundraiser. Turn in your cheese and sausage sales forms and money to Mr. Markhart no later than 3.15 on Monday, October 22nd. Remember that no orders will be submitted without the collected money. More order forms are in the ag room. How about this? Missed the first FBLA meeting but are still interested in joining? It's not too late to stop by and see Mr. Johnson to discuss the club and pick up a registration form. What about lunch and learn today? There are four offered fourth block. Juniors, after completing your pre-ACT test, you may want to continue practicing and strengthening your test skills before the real ACT test date. Come learn about Method Test Prep, a resource available to you free of your charge and in your career cruising account. That's in the counseling office. Learn the basics to the core strength lifts in the weight room. Use the engineering lab for designing and creating prototypes on the equipment like the 3D printer, vinyl cutter, and laser engraver. That's in room 134. Or there's this. Take a deeper look into the history of some of Disney's greatest films. Look at the classics and forgotten classics. There's more to these films than Happily Ever Afters and Princesses with Great Hair. That's in room 248. During fifth block, there is one more option. Free reading time in Spanish. Profe Rukavina has books for you to enjoy in Spanish. These would be another option for your Lehigh to Aventura assignment. This session is also open to students who would like, to, who would like a quiet place to work. That's in room 249. Ready for the sports update? Swimming is headed to the UW Stevens Point Aquatic Center for an invitational with eight other teams. Good luck to you and everybody else who might be competing this weekend. Have a great weekend and stay, Tigers. Three, two, one, go!